Okay, this is another examination of how to copy question banks or pools out of original into ultra. In this example course, I have several question pools created here. One of them especially is created so that I can not um, notify the difference or identify the difference between the multiple answer and multiple choice. Ultra courses treats this differently while Original uses two distinct question type identifiers for these type of questions. Ultra just labels them as multiple choice, but allows you the flexibility to make those into multiple answer questions. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to move my question pools into my Ultra course through another method. So previously I demonstrated how to export individual question pools and then import them into Ultra, but you can also use copy content. So I'm going to go to copy items and I'm going to find my course and click on it. And here you'll see that I have this option called question banks, that's pools. And I have my four pools here. I'm going to select them all and click start copy. And another thing to notice is um, you can also do this with individual tests. So if I go to copy items and look for that course, example course 5, I believe I had a test here called example test with pools. I'm going to select that and copy that into my course as well. So we'll give that a moment and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes later and the pro copy process appears to have uh, finished. I could see that this example test with pools has come in and I'm going to take a look at it. And it looks like my pool came in with the, the test, so that works. There's fidelity there that a pool or a test that is created with a pool in original will come in to ultra intact. And notice how um, these are random blocks. They were random blocks in the original course, and it preserved my settings here. And they also preserved the number of points I associated with the um, blocks here as well. So 10 points each. Okay. And now I'll take a look at question banks. So that brought in my banks. And notice it brought it in twice because I copied banks in in that first process. And it was just the banks. Then I copied a test in that used banks separately as a sec like a secondary process. So that's where the duplication came from because that second test I brought in, or that test I brought in, also was connected to pools. So if you were to pull in a test that used pools from original into ultra, it is also going to include the pools. So you don't have to du du duplicate your efforts there. It's going to come in intact and bring the pools with them. If you bring in the pools by themselves, they're also going to come in and um, Blackboard will convert them into the supported formats. Um, I'm going to look specifically at test bank 4 which had the example of the two questions. Now remember in original they're labeled as multiple choice and multiple answer. Ultra converts them into the singular question type but allows you the flexibility to mark multiple answers. So here you'll see that multiple answers are selected because this was a multiple answer question. And the other one was just a single multiple choice que question with just one answer. But I could modify this and make this into a multiple answer question if I wanted to because they allow you to choose multiple selections.